Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be filming a good old Primark haul. I popped to Primark pretty recently and I bought a load of stuff so I thought I would just show you guys everything that I picked up and yeah, I'm just gonna crack straight on with it and I hope you enjoy it. I got a fair few jumpers or should, well, mm -mm. All that. I got a fair few sweatshirts and stuff like that because let's be real, what else do I wear? I pretty much live in sweatshirts. We've got a red one today, which I don't know if it clashes with the pink. I'm not really sure if red is going with my background, but I'm wearing red today. And I bought another red sweatshirt actually. The first one is a red one, so. <laughs> It is a red sweatshirt, it's really soft. Like Primark sweatshirts are always the nicest material. It's so soft. And yeah, this is a red one. I'm just quite liking a good old red. <laughs> and this one says, too cute to care. Someone play the drums. And it was five pounds. So this one is more of like a hoodie, like it's got a hood. I picked this one up because I love the colour. I'm really liking this colour. It's kind of like the theme of the living room downstairs. It's that like duck egg blue colour. So yeah, I mainly picked it up for the colour and I don't really have any like hoodies. Like I said, I've got a lot of sweatshirts, but it's quite nice to have like a hoodie. And it also has some text on it and it says hashtag stay classy, 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 stay classy. And that's something I'm definitely not, but I mainly got it for the colour. Yeah, how much was this one? I think it was a fiver as well. Oh, bloody hell, no it wasn't. Jeez, that was a bit optimistic. It was £12. There's a bit more to it because it's got a hood and all that jazz, so yeah. I then also spotted a sweatshirt in the same colour and obviously because I'm liking the colour, I got a text. It's from my mum. I picked up this sweatshirt in the same colour. It's just a plain sweatshirt. I've got a few of Primark's like plain sweatshirts that kind of have this cropped, chopped off at the bottom look about them. I've got a pink one, a burgundy one, and now I've got this like duck egg bluey kind of colour. What do they call it? Oh, they call it light green. Oh, I'm sorry. I keep saying it, but they're just so soft. They're really nice and like fleecy on the inside. This one was just a fiver as well. I bought this next thing quite a while ago. I don't know if they've got it anymore. This is the one thing that I bought ages ago but I thought I'd just throw it in here because it is from Primark but this was back when like the whole Star Wars movie was out well it still is out back when it was first out it's a little t-shirt and it's got a little like stitched on R2D2 and I mean R2D2 is a right lad so I thought I would get this I love like t-shirts as you guys know with like a little badge on it and I just thought this one was really cute it's just a plain grey t-shirt and it was six pounds I also picked up this jumper and it looks like such a nice jumper it feels so nice it's really like thick like it's a really nice material and it's just got this nice high neck that's like proper chunky like do you know what i mean don't it look proper chunky and like oh yeah and then it's just got these long sleeves that i've turned up it's not cropped but it's not super long it's just like the perfect length and it's in this nice gray color i love a good old gray jumper and this one just felt like such a nice quality one that i couldn't couldn't resist it so i picked it up and it was 10 pounds right so if you guys saw my video oh it was last week if you saw my video last week where i did my subscribers choose my boohoo haul video i got in that video a, a jacket basically like this it was just like a little bit small i felt like it wasn't oversized enough for me to like it so i did return it and then a load of you said actually that in primark they have one pretty much exactly the same but it is a bit more like oversized so I picked it up and you're right, it is like a much better fit on me. This material is all the way through it, like literally all the way through. So, it, oh no, it ain't in the sleeves. I lied, it's not in the sleeves, but there's a lot more of this going on, which I love. It's just in this nice kind of dusky, is it dusky pink? Oh, I don't know actually. Ah, oh, watch out. Oh, blush pink. That's it. It's in like a blush pink colour. It's cord. It's got this like shearling. I think we worked out it was called shearling. Shearling sheep stuff around here, which I love. And it's just a really nice jacket and it's only £20, so can't really go wrong with that and I'm really happy. I absolutely love it. So this next thing, I don't know how much I will really use it, but I saw it and I was just like, I can't not get it because it was just looking at me in all its fluffy glory and... <laughs> I mean, did I really need this? No, not at all. But this one just looked so cute. It's like a really, really subtle pale pink, like really pale and it's fluffy all over. I always use rucksacks over like normal handbags. So hopefully I will get use out of it, but I don't know. It's quite small. It's a really tiny bag, like not very practical. And also like if it gets wet again, not very practical, but I don't know. I just thought it was really cute and it's really fluffy and soft. So 
I picked it up for that reason and it was £9. Non-slip hangers, £4 for 10 Always got to grab some of them because I never have enough hangers because I buy too many clothes and then I have nowhere to put them. I got these really cute little fake plants. I mean, I feel like we've got enough of these in the house, but... Two more can't hurt because they are just so cute. They're in these really nice little, I'd say that's more like rose gold than copper. It's in like a little rose gold plant pot. There we go. And then it's just got these little uh, fake spiky green plants poking out of it with a little bit of uh, pebbly stuff in there. God, I'm doing a great job at describing this. You get the gist, they're just fake plants, they're really cute. I'm probably gonna put them in here maybe because I haven't got any like planty stuff in here. I think they're gonna live in this room and they were three pounds each, so yeah. They're really cute. This one's kind of similar, but it is more of like a copper colour and it's broken, so that's great, isn't it? It's fine though, we can stick it back down, but it's basically this, what would you call it? It's like a geometric copper cage. <laughs> And inside it is another little fake plant. I thought that was a cute little way to display a plant. Why not shove it in a cage, you know? I'm sure it'll appreciate that. Um, and this was five pounds. Ooh, I'll have that back, please. <laughs> I also got one of these and you have no idea what one of these is. This one, one of these. I decided to get one of these like cinema light boxes because my mum got one for Christmas and hours of fun. I had so much fun just like putting little messages on it. I just got a little one in Primark. It was eight pounds. I also got a giant clock because why the hell not? I don't know, this, <laughs> this clock's been looking at me every time I've gone into Primark for quite a while and you're back again. Okay. This clock has been staring at me in Primark for quite a while and I'm always like, well, there's no point getting it because we haven't really put anything up on the walls in our house because obviously we are renting, it's not our house. I've kind of refrained from like putting things up on the walls. I thought, you know what, let's save that for when we actually own a house and we buy a house and then it will be a lot more special to like decorate it. I picked it up anyway because I thought maybe we could like prop it up somewhere for now or if not, when we eventually buy a house, we can pop it up because I just really like these copper clocks. I think they look really cool. I like how they don't have numbers on them. I don't know why I like like that I just like that it means it's a bit more of a challenge when you tell the time you've got to work work it out for yourself so yeah I decided to get that and that was eight pounds as well that is everything that I got I feel like that was quite a short Primark haul for me like normally they're huge but I feel like that was quite an average sized one so I hope you guys still enjoyed it don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it and if you want me to do more Primark hauls throughout 2018 thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you very very soon Bye. Oh, yeah.